He was Interpol's most wanted man, and as he arrived on island turf in June 2007, Jersey police made it their mission to catch him. They began tailing Curtis Warren and his co-conspirators after a tip-off from the Serious Organised Crime Agency. The gang were hatching a plot to import 180 kilos of cannabis into the island. They hired a car in St Malo to drive to Holland, pick up the drugs, head back to France via Belgium, then ferry the drugs to Jersey using a private boat. Jersey police arranged to bug the car with a listening and tracking device. Conversations were used in court, which eventually led to Warren and his gang being convicted. It's one £1,000, yes. One nine bar, yeah. One, one bar, yeah. yeah. £160 for one ounce. Between 50 and 60 kilo would take about four weeks to get all your money. Forward. But the recordings were illegal. Jersey police didn't have permission by France, Belgium or Holland to bug the car. They even told the officer who fitted the device to lie to the French police about what she was doing. Unsure of the legality of their actions, they sought advice from this man, Crown Advocate Matthew Jouet. He said... Ultimately, it's an operational matter. If it were me, I'd go ahead and do it. But don't quote me. Warren's legal team argued this devilry and misconduct amounted to an abuse of process and that all convictions should be quashed. Today, the law lords didn't agree, but they did issue a damning verdict on the actions of Jersey police. The board emphasises its strong disapproval of the police, police misconduct in this case. They were guilty of sustained and deliberate law-breaking. The outcome of this appeal should not be seen to condone their conduct. Repetition of misconduct of this kind in the future might well lead to a different outcome. Reacting to that verdict, the police chief wouldn't be drawn on that criticism. We're very pleased that Curtis Warren and five other men who conspired to smuggle cannabis with a street value of more than £1 million into Jersey are to remain in prison and serve out their sentences for their crimes. Mr Varon, though, the, the law laws were quite critical of the police. Do you I'm, I'm accept sorry, that? I'm sorry, I, I can't take questions at this juncture. We need to analyse the findings of the judges and I'll come back to you after we've done that. Thank you very much indeed. The illegal tactics in gathering evidence against Warren will now be investigated by Hampshire police and that could result in disciplinary action. So, as Warren's conviction remains intact, the same may not be said of the force's reputation.